I think that's a really important thing about teaching journalism to students. It's trying to make them comfortable with the uncomfortable. Because being a journalist is about, it should be about feeling uncomfortable, actually. And if you're not feeling uncomfortable, if it's just really easy and cosy, then I don't think you're pushing hard enough on power. I think that's important. If you want to make some, if you're afraid of something, it's good to make it familiar to yourself. And so I think it's important for students to go to all these places that might make them uh, intimidated. The courts, uh, police stations, um, council meetings, basically anything that is sort of could be intimidating. It's good if they can go in there and then they've seen it and then it's less intimidating because they're more familiar with it. That's really what I think the role of the journalist is, is to hold the powerful to account. And I think, well, what, um, if, that's, if that's kind of uncomfortable and, um, and I know, like, with the students at City, not, not so much me, because I don't teach them directly about how to write stories and things, but uh, some of the teachers say, God, they just can't even get on the phone. They're so, like, phone shy. And, and I'm thinking, well, I remember how it was. Even now, I still occasionally get phone shy. But um, they've got to be pressed to do these uncomfortable things, because the alternative is that you avoid uncomfortable things, and then you kind of sink into a sort of cosy well, cosy journalism, and, and the danger there is, um, I mean, it's not always bad. It, sometimes it's bad, it's through laziness or whatever. But it could be lack of time, it could be economic pressures. Um, there's lots of reasons why a journalist can't be all the time sort of challenging themselves and people in power. But uh, if, it, if, if you're not doing that, then really you're just becoming a stenographer of power, I think, and, and you don't really want to be doing that. Mm -hmm.